Cause the fog on the tine is all mine, all mine The fog on the tine is all mine The fog on the tine is all mine, all mine The fog on the tine is all mine Hi guys, welcome back. Um, what we're going to do now, we're, we're going to zero the zero the rifle because uh, we're going to take it out in the field. So we're going to zero at 15 meters just to get one in the ballpark. Um, but what we've done before then, we've, we've added some added some scopes on it. We've got the the MTZ Viper Connects, um, very nice scope. I've never shot with these scopes before, but Daryl likes them a lot. Um, we've also stuck the the Twink Mark II on the end there. Um, so we're all ready to go. Daryl's going to nip down the other end with the with the other camcorder um, and we'll get our technical heads together later on and put them both on the same on the same bit of footage so you can see the actual pellets hitting hitting where the the targets so we're going to do six shots just to zero it um, and then what time we got it's 20 past eight now so we'll be heading out heading out down there to one of our permissions down there north Yorkshire um, a bit later on but this is just giving me a bit of a a bit of a, a ready to go. So I'm just waiting to Daryl at the bottom, setting up the other camcorder, and we're going to zero. Right, so we'll see where we go. Well, now there's a first. We we'll put the scopes on. These scopes came straight off Daryl's um, his dear state or his gear state, as we saw, as we call them. Uh, put them straight on, and that's actually uh, that's it. The drone pin dead on the nail. So I'll just continue on that and see see how it goes. They're flying high, Daryl, aren't they? Yeah, like a quarter of an inch, mate. Yeah, all one. Nice one, boy. Just need to come down. Right. So what we're going to do, that was six shots, just to see where it was firing at. Um, the first one hit, hit the target, hit, hit, hit what we were aiming at, um, and then the next five just seemed to lift a little bit. So, we're going to fill the mag bag up, um, and we'll do it again, and we'll bring the scopes into, into play a little bit. We're using um, H&M, H&M field, field target trophies. Um see what One thing we've noticed with these um if you've got big thumbs and little fingers this magazine's a pain. It is for me anyway, I don't know what Daryl thinks of it. Just a little bit a little bit too small for me. I think another point to make and all is uh, obviously with it having a six shot magazine um, it might be worth your while buying more magazines. Aye, because you'd be forever filling. Put a takeaway for like you say, six shots you'd be forever filling your magazine up. 
So rather than slabber on filling your mags in the field, I imagine just fill a few before you go out. Yeah, and, uh, definitely. So I kind of see them being too expensive. Like, I wouldn't have thought so. Wouldn't have thought so. So if you want to nip back down the right. top end, because you show when you're clear, and I'll load this back up. You can stick another target up for us, Darrell, if you want. Stick a circle on the paper. Looking forward to going out in the field with us tonight. It's going to be a, there's no, no wind whatsoever, but it's going to be a cold night, the sky is clear. So, uh, Right, I'll we'll see what this one does. So they were flying high, Daryl. Yes, man. So if I bring it down, bring it down three. And we'll see what will go from there. You right, man? Yeah, safe, man. These are flying all over, mate. Mm. Right guys, so what we've done, we've zeroed it. Um, it's not ideal, considering it's only 15 metres. I'm not very impressed. Um, we'll get it out in the field and we'll we'll try it in the field. Could be down to me. Wouldn't be the first time that's happened. But uh, we'll see you out in the field. Hey right guys, welcome back to Geordie Hunters TV. Um, as promised, we're out in the field now. We've got the, the Brocock specialist with us. Um, that light over there, that's Ward Darrell. Flash your light, mate. Flash your light, buddy. There you go. That's Ward Darrell. And he is 32 metres away. Um, so we'll pan round to the target. And we're going to gonna zero this Brocock at 32. Remember earlier on we zeroed at 15 just to get in the, in the rough idea. Um, so now we're going to put some uh, super fuels I think he's putting through them. When you ready mate, first six. Inch high. Edge of the bull, mate. Nine o'clock. Bull.
Dann nimm die Mark. <lacht> Kommt das auch to some zero. Und du hast drei Slugs in der Mark. What's he like? Hey guys, we're back in two seconds. Right guys, so that was, that was last three shots. Um, he's got a full mag now, so we're gonna crack on. Bit of a flow. <laughs> yeah, he dogs just piped up on the radio there. That was him. Well, that's 32 yards and he's probably got about one inch grouping. I think another thing that it's probably a good idea to consider is that uh, these shots are standard sporting supported positions that Daryl's firing from um, so there you go nine shots standing supported position can't really argue I'd be happy with that um, considering it's it's fresh straight out of the box so uh, it's had nothing whatsoever done to it and give, give Daryl a, a couple of sessions on the range and uh, I think that'll be a hell of a lot tighter So for from sunny North Yorker, I think it's a, it's clocking under about one o'clock in the morning at the minute. Um, we're gonna see if we can see if we can bag any more rabbits. And we're back. So like I said, that was got the broadcock specialist. Um, he's at 32 meters, and we're gonna see what the group's like. When you're ready, man. Now, oh, um, for me, like I said earlier on, the jury's still out. Um, zero this at 15 meters, and um, wasn't really fantastic. Um, so we'll see. See how Dal does. Can't argue with shooting like that, mind.
that's a six. Well, apart from the the last couple, apart from the last couple, um, three out and three in. So oh, it's the first time, first time we've had this one out at distance, and well, be impressed to see as the day goes on how uh, how much better we get with it. Like I say, three smack bang in the middle there. Can't argue with that. Right folks, uh, that's it for the night, um, as you can see the specialist is starting to come together now that we're getting used to it, um, showing off the groups that I've just done, um, standing supported, uh, the prone weren't so bad because obviously I was uh, resting on the fence and the fence was a bit uh, springy, well that's my excuse anyway, but we'll manage one uh, good size rabbit for the night. Which is what Gary got earlier on. So nothing for the specialist tonight, but there's plenty of time for that. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Cause the fog on the tine is all mine, all mine. The fog on the tine is all mine. The fog on the tine is all mine, all mine. The fog on the tine is all mine.